All right, here's a quick video on the new IDEX rapid pregnancy test kit that you can actually do at home. Uh, first time you get the kit, you will get an accessory pack, which uh, has one of these wash bottles here. Uh, it'll also have a precision pipette and this plastic plate cover. And then of course you'll have the kit itself. And we'll open that up here and then it comes with a uh, cardboard cover here. And then you got your instruction booklet. You got a bag that you can put some extra wells in. This is one of the well holders here. You get some pipette tips that come along with it. Uh, then you'll actually get these uh, plates here. You get two of the 96 well plates for a total of 192 wells. And then of course you'll get all your reagents here uh, that you will be using throughout your, uh, your test sequence as well. Just a quick note here on some sample preparation. If you have some kind of uh, holder that will hold your tube straight up and down like this, it'll help out, let the serum run to the top. You wanna leave uh, some blanks here at the top. You wanna leave a spot here for a positive and negative control right here, positive, negative control, and then your samples. Uh, then that's gonna line up with your plate here. We have eight wells in a row, so you have a positive and negative control, and then six samples in your, uh, in your wells as well. So you wanna make sure they line up so you can find your positives later. All right, to get started here, the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna have a, put a new tip on your pipette here. And then we're going to actually use the positive control and we are going to uh, pipette some of the positive control out into the pipetter and then into the very first well at the top of the row. All right, and then we're gonna take that tip off and we're gonna put a new tip on. You wanna use a new fresh tip for every control and every sample and we'll get our negative control here. And then we're gonna pipette some of the negative control into the second well. So we have our positive and now our negative control in the first two wells. Take that tip off. And we're gonna put another fresh tip on, but first let's uh, put these caps on the control so we don't spill those here. All right, grab our new tip, put that on, and we're gonna use our first sample. So we're gonna go into our first uh, blood sample here and pipette, pipette some of that out. Now we're going into the third well down right below our negative control. So there's our first one. Take that tip off, put a new tip on, go into our second sample here. And we're going to pipe pit some of this out and put that into the next well down after our first sample. So there we go. Our second sample is in. Take the tip off, put a new tip on. We'll do our third sample here. And then we are going to put that into the next well down and then we'll continue this until we're done uh, putting all of our samples into the wells. All right, once all our samples are in the wells, we're gonna use our first reagent here. This is going to be our uh, detector reagent. And we are going to put three drops of our de detector reagent into each well. So we'll start with our control wells up here, positive control, three drops negative control, three drops, and then we'll move on to all of our sample wells. And as I said, each sample well will also get three drops of the detector reagent. And finish that up there. All right, now once that's done, we'll put our cap on. We're gonna set our timer for our first seven minute incubation period. So I grab my timer here and set it for seven minutes and we're going to let it sit for seven minutes. All right, the seven minutes is just about up here and we are going to stop our timer and then we are going to wash out our wells. So we're gonna grab our plate here, hold onto it tightly and turn it over and dump out all of the liquid from the wells into a sink or a bucket and dump that out. Now we're gonna grab our wash bottle and we are going to spray our deionized or distilled water into each well. And if it happens to run over the well a little bit, the instructions say that that's okay. So we'll fill up our wells here, grab it tightly, dump that out. And we're gonna do that a total of three times. So here's our second washing here. We'll wash this out, put the water into the wells, dump that out one more time. And then we will wash our third time here fill up all the wells with our deionized or distilled water, hold it tightly again, turn it over and dump that out. 
And then to make sure we get all of our water out of here, we're going to tap it onto a paper towel or some kind of absorbent cloth and get all the water out. Uh, clean it up here a little bit if you've gotten water that spilled over. And just make sure you tap it and get all the water out. All right, now we are going with our second reagent, which is our conjugate reagent. And we are going to do the same thing here. We'll open this up and we're going to put three drops of the conjugate into each well. We'll start with our control wells. Three drops in positive, three drops in our negative control, and then three drops in each of our six sample wells uh, that we have here going as well. All right, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna set our timer for seven minutes again. And uh, we're gonna kind of kind of skip through this video here. Here we're showing a washing again. You'll wash it after the seven minutes. And then after that, we'll put in our TMB reagent, just like we did with all our other reagents and let it sit for seven minutes once again after that. All right, after TMB, our seven minutes is up. Then it'll be time for our stop solution. So we're gonna grab the stop solution. And we're gonna drop three drops into each well, just as we've done all along here, our positive and negative controls up the top. And now our samples here, three drops into each well. And as you can see, our, uh, our TMB reagent has turned the uh, pregnant wells blue and it has left our negative wells clear. So here we go, we'll take a look at it. Our positive control up here is blue. And then our negative control is clear. So anything that's blue like this, any tint of blue is going to be positive like these wells here. And then anything that is clear like our negative control, uh, these three wells, these are going to be negative or open. All right, so then once we have that, we can kind of bring our samples back over. And now that since we've had them lined up, we know what's what here, have our positive and negative control at the top. Uh, then we have our first sample, which was actually blue, so we'll move that over. That's a pregnant. Then we have another one that's blue. That's a pregnant. Three uh, clear, so they're open. And then our last one is blue, and so that's a pregnant. So we have these pregnants, and then we have uh, three that were open. So one, two, three that are pregnant, and three that were open. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the way it goes. All right, just a quick note here. We only did six samples. I just wanted to show you, you can do more than six samples. Uh, you just grab an, another row of wells and uh, add them to your plate, whether you're doing two or three or four, whatever you're doing. They suggest you only do a uh, maximum of 30 samples at a time, just uh, so you don't get too confused and you're you know, doing a lot of dropping into each well and things like that. So 30 samples is probably the maximum you wanna do. Okay, hope this helps.